Welcome to Devotionals on the Go. My name is Kelly Wenner, and I'm the founder and creator of Soul Strength Fit. If you think you don't have time to dive into God's Word, then this podcast is for you. These few moments will not only allow you to hear the Word of God, but to reflect on it and apply it to your life. Listen, reflect, and grow on the go. This time is for you. Our opening verse comes from the book of Exodus. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, Here I am. Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers, and I am concerned about their suffering. So I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land into a good and spacious land a land flowing with milk and honey. And now the cry of the Israelites has reached me, and I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. So now go, I am sending you to the Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? And God said, I will be with you, and this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. Moses said to God, Suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name? Then what should I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, say to the Israelites, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. The name you shall call me from generation to generation. Here I am. This is a statement of availability, not location. Moses is making himself available to God. He stopped in his journey, took the time to pause and take in the sight from God. In your busy and hurried life, how often do you find you are able to stop and say, here I am, Lord. How often do you pause and honestly tell the Lord, Here I am, Lord, ready to do your will. Use me to your glory. Use me to bless those around me, even if it means getting out of my comfort zone or doing things I don't particularly want to do. That's when real change occurs in our character 
in our attitudes, and in our walk with God, that's when real change in our lives occurs. Can you be open to taking the time to be aware of God's presence this week? Can you be open to offering this statement, Here I am, Lord. Here I am, ready for whatever it is you might be calling me to do. Moses expresses a deep internal fear when he asks God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? In response to this, God reassured Moses with a promise of his own presence. When you don't feel good enough, strong enough, capable, wise, or special enough to handle the problems or circumstances that you face, Remember that God is with you. Listen to these five promises that God offers. First, he says, For I am with you. Do not fear, for I am with you. Tell yourself, God is with me. Next, he says, I am your God. Do not look anxiously about you, for I am your God. God is my God. He tells us, I will strengthen you. Remind yourself, God will strengthen me. Next, he says, surely I will help you. God will help me whatever challenge I face. And finally, surely I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God himself will will uphold me. This week, when any moments arise that you find yourself thinking, Who am I? I can't do this. Remember that God is with you. Remember that God loves you as a father. And remember that God promises to strengthen you, to help you, and to uphold you. Stand firm in His promises. Despite any feelings of being incapable, 
despite not feeling strong enough or good enough. Look for ways that God might want to use you for his glory. Really take notice of each person you come across during your day. How might you use challenging or difficult situations to grow in patience or love or grace? How might God want you to serve or encourage others or grow in faith and trust? Look for opportunities this week. They will be there. God wants to use you and he wants you to grow. And regardless of how incapable you feel, he promises to be there along the way. Listen to our opening verse once again, considering the ways in which you can relate with Moses' question, Who am I? Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight, why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, Here I am. Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I've heard them crying out because of their slave drivers, and I'm concerned about their suffering. So I've come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And now the cry of the Israelites has reached me, and I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. So now go, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? And God said, I will be with you. And this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. Moses said to God, suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask me, what is his name? Then what shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever. The name you shall call me from generation to generation. Thanks for listening to Devotionals on the Go, your place to listen, reflect, and grow. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss an on-the-go devotional. And I'd love to connect. Check me out at kellywennerfit.com. 
I look forward to digging into God's Word with you next time. Bye for now.